Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make shiny jeweled textures inside of Photoshop. Later in the video, I'll show you how to get this free download, so make sure to stick around for that. And if you want more tutorials on design and marketing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. All right, we're gonna start this tutorial with our glitter base. We created this glitter base in another tutorial. I will link to that down in the description. You can also download this at prettywebs.com. I'll have a PSD file. I created this document at 500 pixels by 500 pixels, 72 PPI resolution. And we're gonna start with this texture here with the gold. Now, of course, you can change um, a lot of the settings here as far as brightness and colors and all of that stuff but we're gonna go ahead and and start with the gold and then we'll change colors a little bit later on so I'm gonna just make a copy of this so I'm gonna duplicate the group and I'm gonna hide that bottom group and then I'm gonna press command E control E just to flatten that out we're gonna come up to filter and then to filter gallery Inside of Filter Gallery, we're going to go to the Distort file here, and we're going to choose Glass. Make sure to choose Blocks for your texture, and then we'll make a few changes to these settings. So our Distortion, we're going to leave at about 8, and we're going to take the Smoothness up to 15, and then we'll take the scale of this way down to 50. That's going to give us this block texture. And you'll see that we have all of this silver around the edges. I'll show you how to get rid of that here in a minute. So we're going to click OK. Press V on the keyboard to bring up these little anchors. And we're going to pull this out on the sides just to get rid of those edges. Press Enter. And now we're going to come to the Crop tool. And then just press enter a couple of times to get rid of that outer edge. Come up to edit, define pattern. I've created this before so I already have a copy so I'm going to call this number two and click OK. Open up a new document. I think I'll make this one 1500 by 1500. Create. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and add some text to this. And then I'm going to double click here on the side to add that pattern. So we're going to add this, um, the one that we just created. Click OK. And that's what it looks like inside of text. Maybe we can um, scale it up a little bit or scale it down to get different effects. Okay, so we're back in our in our base glitter document and what I'm going to do is create another one of these but in a different color and I'm going to show you why I'm going to do that rather than just adding a hue and saturation layer to this. So if you'll bear with me um, I'm just going to go through this really quickly. I'm going to make something like a really rich dark color something like this purple. This is going to be our base color. I'm going to right click and duplicate this group. And then I'm going to press Command and E to make one layer. And I'm going to go back into the filter, filter gallery and do the same thing that we did before. We made these blocks. So all of our settings are still here. Everything's exactly the same. I'm going to click OK. And now we have this in this deep purple color and we also have it in the gold color. I'm going to go ahead and add a new artboard, a couple of them, just because I want you to see this side by side and why it's more important uh, to create this from scratch rather than adding. So we have our two textures here. This one uh, was created from the glitter base. And then we have this one and we're going to try to get this same purple using a hue and saturation layer. So I'm just going to add this here. Click on colorize to make sure that I'm getting that color and I'm going to come over to the purples. So right around there. 
and I'm only showing you this because it, it's just so difficult to get that rich deep color here when you're using a hue and saturation so this is kind of getting closer but again I've lost a lot of the shine that I had here okay so right around there that's that's about as good as it's gonna get and I just want you to see the deep rich color that we're getting here and all of the detail that we're getting whereas on this side we're getting a lot of white tones and it's just it just doesn't look as good so that's why it's best to start with that uh, glitter base and change your colors from there rather than making one and then adding hue and saturation layers to make the changes there so I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, gold glitter base that we have here I'm going to and I'm going to duplicate this group one more time. Merge the group and I'm going to put that on artboard too. So we have this glitter base that we're working with right here. Now we're going to come up to filter, filter gallery. And we're working in the same um, filter distort and glass. But we're going to just make a few minor changes to this one. So we're going to take our scale up a little bit and our smoothness can stay at 15 but this time we're going to take the distortion all the way up and we're going to change our texture to frosted so we're getting a variation here of that block texture um, but this time instead of using the actual block uh, texture we're using frosted so i'm going to click ok and you can see uh, the variation here so this is kind of like a diamond um, circle type block and this is just the regular square block so this second uh, texture is just another variation on that first one so i'm going to go ahead and save that one as well as a pattern so i'm going to come up to edit define pattern and we'll call this block two And now I'm going to come back to my type and add this uh, to that one so you can see the difference. It's kind of hard to see unless you have it in context like this, like in, a, in type or actually on the design itself. So it's nice to test your, your uh, textures out a little bit just to see what you come up with. Stick with me because next time I'm going to be using the same glitter based texture to show you another type of pattern that you can create. To learn more about working with patterns and textures inside of Photoshop, make sure to watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.